Hey everybody, this is Peter, and in this video we're going to enable Vista Parental Controls, which is a newer feature in Windows Operating System. So let's go into Control Panel, and first thing we're going to go to is User Accounts and Family Safety, and set up Parental control Controls for any user. And we got a little message here saying we don't have a password on our administrator account, so we're going to go ahead and define a quick password there. And we'll get that done quickly and move on with the video. We'll press OK. So what we're going to do is basically create a new account um, for, let's say, one of your children. So we're going to go ahead and click on Create New Account. We'll call it Child in this case, okay? And why is it important to have different accounts? Well, one thing is you don't want your children or other people in the home to be logged on as administrator because what that allows them to do is have all access to your actual computer whether it's a laptop or a desktop um, that basically means they can install any programs they want they can uninstall any programs they want um, they can do pretty much whatever they want to do on your system uh, the best thing to do <coughs> is create an actual account for every user that has to use the system and then they won't have to have administrative privileges to the actual operating system. Another reason why that's extremely important, a lot of the malware or you know viruses, trojans and all that great stuff uh, that's out on the internet nowadays, a lot of that stuff requires admin access to actually run on a system. Um, if your child or another user in your home is not logged on as an admin and they download a program that requires that and accidentally open it up, you'll probably be lucky enough not to be contaminated by that specific piece of uh, software like virus or whatever it is. So that's one of the other important reasons. So let's keep going with the video. We're creating a user called child and we'll go ahead and deselect the user must set, set password and X login and click on create an account. Now the cool thing is you can see now we're going to go and click on on for enforce the current settings which is our parental controls and we're going to go into web restrictions. Now in web restrictions you're going to see a few of the options that we have. We can block web content automatically um, and by different levels. So you can create a custom level. You can not block web content. You can choose medium or high. We're going to keep the medium on and the medium level will block unreadable content and web content in mature content, pornography, drugs, hate speech, weapons, all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and click on medium. We're going to also block file downloads. So we don't want our you know, kids downloading anything that can potentially get them into trouble. We're going to now click on game reading. So we can actually say, can your child play games? Sure they can, but let's go ahead and set some game ratings. We can go in here and say, okay, allow games with no rating, but which ratings are okay for your child to play? And we can say everyone. Um, because you know games nowadays are you know classified as as it says there early childhood everyone everyone 10 plus teens mature so on and so on um, you know so if you choose the everyone games you're pretty much you're good and set for them not getting access to um, to games that they shouldn't be watching um, and if a game has no rating we're going to say you know what let's just block that game because if it doesn't have a rating it probably hasn't gone through the right channels and been uh, classified as a specific game so we're going to go ahead and click on OK and that's pretty much it. So that's some basic stuff you can do to protect your children when they're surfing the internet if you're using uh, Windows Vista. Thanks a lot, guys.